Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp and today we are going to cover Wiggle subsequence. We are given an input of an integer array nums and we have to return the longest length of Wiggle subsequence. So what is a Wiggle subsequence? It is a sequence where the difference between successive numbers strictly alternate between positive and negative. So let's understand this problem statement with an example. So here is our given example. So let's start iterating and finding the difference of the variables. The first difference between 7 and 1 is going to be 6 and the difference between 4 and 7 is going to be minus 3 and 9 minus 4 is 5, 2 minus 9 is minus 7 and finally 5 minus 2 is going to be 3. So if you observe the difference between each element is changing from positive to negative and strictly positive and negative. So this is a complete wiggle subsequence and the length is 6 that is our output. The subsequence is not definitely have to be continuous. They can ignore any numbers in between and consider the rest of the elements. So now how are we going to approach this problem? So here the condition clearly says the numbers or the difference between any two numbers cannot be 0 and it satisfies the wiggle subsequence if and only if the differences are alternatively negative and positive. It can start from negative or positive, but the difference strictly should go negative and positive. So in this case, we have to compare the previous difference and current difference between every pair and come up with a solution. So here we have three variables, previous difference, current difference and length. Length is going to be our output which determines the longest length of wiggle subsequence. So this length will increase at every step if and only if it satisfies these two conditions. That is the, if the previous difference is in negative and current difference is positive, the length will increase. If not, if the previous difference is positive and current difference is negative. So if we get alternative positive and negative differences, that is the only case our length is going to increase. If not, we are going to sustain or retain the same length as in the previous step. So let's start iterating. First two difference is 16. So let's assume the previous difference is 16. So as the problem statement says, each element alone is a single wiggle subsequence. So in this case, our length is going to be 2 because it considered two numbers. If suppose the difference is 0, we are not going to update our length to 2. Instead, we are going to update our length to 1. If the difference is greater than 0 or less than 0, we are going to update the length to 2 at our first step. So now, moving on to our second step, the difference between 5 and 17 is going to be minus 12. So here, our previous difference becomes 16 and current difference is minus 12. So if you compare the previous difference and the current difference, it is alternatively positive and negative. So the length increases and updating it to 3. So moving on to our next step, now the previous difference becomes 12 and we have to calculate the current difference. So 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. So updating my current difference is 5. So if you observe the previous difference is negative and the current difference is positive. So update our length. So moving on to our next step, 13 minus 10 is going to be 3. So my current difference is going to be 3. My previous difference was 5. Both are positive values. So we are retaining the length of the longest wiggle subsequence. So moving on to our next step, 15 minus 3 is going to give us 2. And the previous difference was 3. So both are positive. So we cannot include them in our subsequence. So updating my length to 4 again. So next moving on to 10 and 15, the difference is minus 5. So the previous difference was 2 and current difference was minus 5. So here's the difference. The previous difference is positive and current difference is negative. So we are increasing our length and updating it to 5. So next step, the difference is minus 5. So the previous difference was also minus 5. Both are negative. So we cannot increase our value. So updating it to 5. So now 16 minus 5 is going to be 11. So previous difference was minus 5, current difference was 11 and now increasing our length to 6. So moving on to my final step, 8 minus 6 is going to be minus 8 and 
the previous difference was 11 so we are updating our length to 7 here so we finished iterated our array so 7 is the longest length of a wiggle subsequence in the given array so before getting into code this actually works in linear time as we are iterating our array only once and works in constant space so let's see the greedy code now So I am first going to check if my nums.length is less than 2. As per the problem statement, a single element itself is a wiggle subsequence. So we are returning the length itself as the maximum length of wiggle subsequence. So then we are going to declare two variables, previous sum, previous difference and current difference. And result so assigning my previous difference as so once calculated the difference we are checking whether the difference is 0 or some other value if it is 0 then we are updating our result to 1 if not we are up updating our result to 2 So now we are going to iterate our array from index to so every time I'm gonna calculate my current difference so my result will increment only if my current difference is greater than 0 and my previous difference is less than 0 or my current difference is less than 0 and my previous difference is greater than 0. If that is the case, I am going to increment my result and update my previous difference to current difference. So finally return the result. let's run so yes the solution is accepted so thanks for watching the video if you like the video hit like and subscribe thank you